This object is smaller than a city, heavier than two suns, and spinning 707 times per second. This isn't science fiction, it's real. And according to everything we thought we knew about physics, it shouldn't even exist. A neutron star so massive, so fast, that it's literally on the verge of collapsing into a black hole, and we might not even know it's happening until it's too late. But here's the real question, how is this even possible? And could this discovery be proof that everything we understand about the universe is about to change forever? Welcome to Space Aquarius, and let's dive into the unknown. So, here's how NASA and other scientists actually found Pulsar J0952-0607. First, they noticed some weird energy signals coming from a part of space. These were gamma rays and X-rays, types of really powerful radiation you can't see with your eyes. NASA's Fermi and Chandra Space Telescopes picked them up, and those signals made scientists think, hey, this might be a really fast-spinning neutron star. Then, they looked closer using giant ground telescopes like Keck in Hawaii and another in the Canary Islands. These let them actually see a faint little star orbiting the pulsar, a white dwarf that was slowly being pulled apart. The pulsar was stealing its material, which is super hot and glows brightly in X-rays as it spirals into the neutron star like water going down a drain. By watching how that white dwarf moved and how its light changed, scientists could do the math and figure out the mass of the pulsar. What they found blew their minds. It was 2.35 times the mass of the sun, which is way heavier than any neutron star we thought could even exist without collapsing. So basically by putting together different clues, radiation, light, and movement, they figured out that this tiny invisible star is not only spinning insanely fast, it's also the heaviest one ever found. And it might be just one step away from turning into a black hole. Before we move on to the next section, please don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video so far. Let me introduce you to Pulsar J0952-0607 a cosmic monster unlike anything scientists ever expected to find. This isn't just another star tucked away in some distant galaxy. No, this one is rewriting the rules. J0952-0607 is the heaviest neutron star ever discovered, weighing in at a mind-blowing 2.35 times the mass of our sun. Just think about that for a second. More than twice the mass of the sun crushed into an object so small it could easily fit inside the city limits of New York City. That kind of density is almost impossible to wrap your head around. A single teaspoon of its material would weigh around a billion tons here on Earth. And so a neutron star can be, you know, elite one and a half times the mass of the sun, let's say, but it can be about, what, 10 miles across? <laughs> so, so that's an incredibly dense ball of matter held up by this, the neutrons moving around. Got a fancy name, it's called neutron degeneracy pressure. That's what it is. A neutron star is the incredibly dense core left behind after a massive star explodes in a supernova. During the explosion, the outer layers of the star are blown away, but the core collapses under its own gravity. The pressure is so extreme that protons and electrons are crushed together, forming neutrons, hence the name. Even though a neutron star might only be about 12 to 15 miles wide, it can pack more mass than the sun into that tiny space, making it one of the densest objects in the universe. But what truly makes J0952-0607 jaw-dropping isn't just its weight, it's how fast it spins. This pulsar is whipping around at a staggering 707 rotations every second. That's right, 707 times per second. To put that into perspective, the blades of a helicopter spin at around 400 to 500 revolutions per minute. Your kitchen blender? Maybe 20,000 revolutions per minute on its highest setting. Jet turbines? They operate at about 10,000 RPM during flight. And yet, here's this tiny collapsed star, a cosmic corpse, spinning faster than anything you use or ride every single second. It's not just fast, it's so fast that it's on the very edge of what physics says is even possible. J0952-0607 is literally spinning at a speed where any faster, and the forces trying to tear it apart would overcome the gravity holding it together. It's balancing on a cosmic knife's edge, a star pushed right to its absolute limit, defying everything we thought we knew about how matter, gravity, and rotation work in the extreme. 
But why is it spinning that fast? It's not spinning that fast on its own. Pulsar J0952-0607 has a companion, a dying star known as a white dwarf, or to put it more dramatically, a star that's being slowly and mercilessly devoured. Imagine two stars locked in a deadly dance. The white dwarf, once a bright and stable star, now finds itself caught in the immense gravitational grip of its neutron star companion. J0952-0607, with its extreme gravity and powerful magnetic field, is pulling matter away from the white dwarf, stripping it down, bit by bit, like a cosmic predator feeding on its prey. As this happens, the stolen material, mostly superheated gas, doesn't fall straight in. It forms a glowing, spiraling stream of plasma wraps around the neutron star that's spinning incredibly fast in a very hot accretion disk. This plasma is moving at a significant fraction of the speed of light, generating enormous amounts of energy as it spirals inward. The entire process releases intense X-ray emissions, the kind that can only come from environments so extreme they barely make sense to the human mind. This isn't just a beautiful light show. These X-rays are what alerted scientists to what was happening. NASA's telescopes picked up these high-energy signatures, allowing researchers to pinpoint where this vampiric feeding frenzy was taking place. What they found shocked them. Not only was J0952-0607 consuming its companion, it had already become the most massive neutron star ever recorded. And it was still growing. The white dwarf, meanwhile, is wasting away. With every orbit, it becomes dimmer, lighter, and more unstable. If this continues, and there's no reason to think it won't, the white dwarf may eventually disappear completely, leaving behind only the pulsar that devoured it. Or worse, J0952-0607 may absorb so much mass that it reaches the point of no return and collapses into a black hole, which is why it's very dangerous if this neutron star becomes too massive. The scary part about Pulsar J0952-0607 isn't just how fast it spins or how much it's devouring its companion. It's the fact that it might already be too massive to even exist as a neutron star. It matter. All the nuclei of the atoms are all stuck next to each other tight. The electrons are, the spaces where the electrons are is all squashed out and it comes out. And when you get to that far, the gravity is strong enough, has overpowered the pressure again. Even though the pressure's got to be enormous, the gravity's got to be even more enormous, and the thing will stay steady at a different size and be nothing but a neutron's nuclear matter, nothing solid nuclear matter. And this is a possibility was worked out by Oppenheimer and Volkov, and it's called a neutron star. And people waited to see if there were any such neutron stars for years until recently. There's a limit in physics known as the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit, or the TOV limit, that tells us how massive a neutron star can be before it collapses under its own gravity. That limit is estimated to be around 2.16 times the mass of the Sun. Now here's the problem. J0952-0607 has a mass of 2.35 solar masses, which means it's either brushing right up against that limit or it's already past it and that's not supposed to be possible. According to our current understanding of physics, once a neutron star gets that heavy, its own gravity becomes too strong for even the tightly packed neutrons to resist. The star should collapse instantly into a black hole. So the big question is, why hasn't J0952-0607 collapsed yet? What's holding it together? Or in other words, why shouldn't this star actually exist? Here's where things get really mind-bending. Pulsar J0952-0607 shouldn't even exist, at least not according to everything we know about neutron stars. Right now, our models of how stars work tell us that neutron stars this massive should be completely unstable. If a neutron star becomes too heavy, the force of gravity becomes bigger than the neutron pressure that holds that same neutron star together. And when that happens, it shouldn't just stay intact it should collapse into a black hole. But J0952-0607 is breaking all the rules. It's pushing the boundaries of our understanding of how matter and gravity interact in the most extreme environments. 
It could be that we're underestimating the actual TOV limit, and neutron stars can get a little heavier than we thought. Or it might mean that something strange is happening inside J0952-0607, Maybe it's made of exotic matter, like quark matter, a type of ultra-dense material we've never observed directly. If that's true, then this isn't just any neutron star. It could be something totally new, like a quark star, barely held together by forces we don't fully understand yet. Another possibility is that there's something else going on, some unknown form of physics that we haven't discovered yet. Maybe the forces at play inside J0952-0607 are completely different from what we thought. Could this star be revealing a whole new chapter of physics? One that could change everything we thought we knew about how stars evolve and how gravity behaves in extreme environments? The truth is, J0952-0607 might be a ticking time bomb. It's gaining mass from its white dwarf companion, inching closer and closer to a point where it can no longer survive as a neutron star. But what do you think, how is J0952-0607 even possible? What does this discovery say about everything we thought we knew about neutron stars? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for more cool videos about our universe.